Have you ever wondered how much RAM you need on your PC? Well, in this video, I will explain how much RAM you need for every type of usage. Whether it's content creation, gaming, streaming, all of this will be covered in this video. So I recommend you watching until the end if you're looking for the right answer. You will also have a specific recommendations that will be linked in the video description alongside more recommendations that I won't mention on this video, that way it's not too long. You will also have a bunch of private systems if you wanna buy a gaming PC right now that is going to perform really good for the price. With that being said, let's start. So we are going to start right with the question, how much RAM do I need for my PC? Well, the answer, it depends. It depends on your type of usage. If you want to do gaming, then 16 gigs of RAM is going to be the sweet spot. Now, it's worth mentioning that it should be on dual channel, meaning that you have two sticks of 8 gigs. And if you have four slots in your motherboard, then I recommend you placing the RAM on the second and fourth slot. Now, if you have a single channel memory kit, meaning that you're only using one slot, you're going to be hurting your performance. Same if it's only one stick of 8 gigs, which is going to be even worse. I do not recommend you 8 gigs of RAM right now for most games, but of course there are some titles that don't require even 16 gigs of RAM, like Minecraft or Roblox, so it really depends on your favorite game. And before buying any RAM kit, I do recommend you searching your favorite game 8 gigs versus 16 gigs of RAM for you to see which one is going to be the best option. Now, it's worth mentioning that 16 gigs of RAM became really cheap, so it's not going to be a huge difference in price, but if you feel like the difference is huge because you are on a tight budget, then sure, go with 8 gigs of RAM, but once again, it depends on your game, so make sure you check how it performs on your favorite one. Now, I do recommend you buying a 3200MHz CL16 memory or a 3600MHz CL18 or CL16 memory. To be honest, you're not going to notice a big difference between 3200MHz CL16 and 3600MHz CL18 memory, and the only times you are going to notice a difference is especially if you have integrated graphics. Let's say you have the Ryzen 5 5600G with integrated graphics, then the RAM speeds are actually going to help you. But for most gamers, this is not a concern and you can go with any of the two. I wouldn't recommend you going any lower than 3200MHz, maybe 3000 is still a good option but the price difference once again, it's really about like $5 between RAM kits, so I would recommend you going with at least 3200MHz. And we are talking about DDR4 memory. If you have a motherboard that supports DDR5, then the price is going to be a bit higher. It's worth mentioning that DDR5 came down in price from the moment that they were launched and I would recommend you going with at least 5200MHz of speeds and if you want something more high-end, I would recommend you going with either 5600 or 6000. Now, this is all for gaming, but what if you want to do streaming at a high-end level? Well, if you want to do streaming, I do recommend you going with 32 gigs of RAM as you're going to have your OBS open with a bunch of tasks running on the background. Or let's say you open a bunch of tasks and you wanna play while having those tasks running on your other monitor or just on the background, then 32 gigs of RAM is gonna be recommended. Once again, if you're only going to do gaming, 16 gigs of RAM is gonna be just fine. Even on the highest end level 4K with the RTX 4090, 16 gigs is fine. But if you have extra money and you want to start streaming or doing content creation, then 32 gigs of RAM is going to be the sweet spot. But if you're a professional content creator, meaning that you're editing videos at 4K while downloading a bunch of videos, photos, exporting files, then 32 gigs of RAM will be your minimum. And I would even consider going with 64 gigs of RAM and depending on how professional you are, maybe 128 gigs of RAM is going to be needed for your workload. Once again, for most content creators, 32 gigs of RAM is going to be fine, and in some cases, even 16 gigs of RAM is going to be enough. So it really depends on the type of videos that you're making and how much RAM your program uses while you're editing these videos. Now let's go with a specific recommendations, and at the end, I will give you a recap to clarify this better. 
for the budget level we have the silicon power ddr4 ram 16 gig kit of course like i said before 2 by 8 this is a 3200 megahertz cl16 memory and the price is only 40 bucks so that i recommend for every build that's around 600 dollars and lower because at those kind of budgets every single dollar counts now if you don't like the design of that one for 50 bucks you can get the g skill rip jaws b series 16 gigs of ram it's going to perform the same as the silicon power one but it's a full black kit i really like it especially if you have a full black build now if you want an rgb kit you can get the patriot piper steel rgb ram this is a really nice looking ram for 57 dollars or you can also get the pny xlr8 gaming kit this one is 55 bucks and it also looks amazing so if you want RGB, you're looking to spend around 15 to 20 extra bucks. You will have more alternatives in the video description in case you didn't like those kits that I've shown you. Then if you want 32 gigs of RAM on a budget, you can get the Silicon Power Value DDR4 RAM. This is 2x16 at 3200MHz CL16 memory and the price is $67, which is actually really cheap for a 32 gigs of RAM kit considering that the RGB 16 kit was around 55 bucks, so for 12 extra dollars you can get 32 gigs of RAM, which might be helpful depending on your needs. Now, if you want an RGB 32 gigs of RAM kit, then for 88 bucks you can get the Silicon Power DDR4 32 gigs of RAM kit Zenith. This is a nice looking RGB RAM and it's going to perform really good. But if you don't like how it looks, then you can get the Team Group T Force Delta RGB 32 gigs of RAM kit. Once again, I absolutely love how this RAM looks. And if once again you don't like that kit, you will have other alternatives in the description as I mentioned previously. Now, if you want a DDR5 kit, then I do recommend you going with the Patriot Viper DDR5 at 5200 MHz memory kit. This one needs 78 bucks, so of course it's going to be more expensive than DDR4. And the gaming performance difference is not going to be huge by the time that I'm recording this video, but down the line DDR5 might become the new standard, so if you have a DDR5 memory kit, you are setting yourself for the future, not because of the kit itself, because maybe down the line 5200MHz is really slow memory and you will need to upgrade, but having a motherboard that supports DDR5 means that you can upgrade the kit down the line without having to upgrade the whole motherboard especially with the AM5 ports from AMD. And if you want the best of the best, I do recommend you going with the G-Skill Ripjaws S5 series. This one is a 32 gig kit of DDR5 6000 MHz CL30 memory. And yes, you can go with even more expensive RAM kits than this one, but I think that right now that will be useless. Then for five extra bucks, you can get the Team Group T Force Delta with RGB, same story, 6000 megahertz cl30 memory now let's do a recap if you're doing just gaming 16 gigs of ram on dual channel is going to be enough for most people even if you're doing 4k gaming now if you want to do streaming as well and you want to take streaming seriously then i think 32 gigs of ram is going to be the sweet spot for you especially if you're streaming while gaming and if you're a content creator, then I think 32 gigs of RAM should be the minimum, especially if you're a professional. So going with 64 gigs or even 128 might be an option for you. I hope this video was helpful for you to find the right memory kit. And let me know if you have any questions about this video. I will try to reply as fast as possible. And if you're looking for a PC build, you can watch the best PC builds for Christmas in the top right of the screen and get the perfect gaming PC for your budget and your needs. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.